Welcome back to my channel everyone. My name is Brooke Kate for those of you who don't know me. I will be doing one side of my face like this and then the other side of my face the way I did in middle school. Get ready to get shook. And of course, as always, like and subscribe below. And if you don't like me, you can still subscribe, okay? you're thinking these are the worst face tattoos ever but hopefully this will let you keep track of which side is which and also just to laugh and share with your friends am I right or am I right okay so let's get started so fun fact I hardly ever wore foundation back in the day it was legit just eyeliner and lipstick so to prime my face I just went ahead and I used my Saeed Cosmetics, my Mystic Primer Plus Serum. It's okay, you can still see it's now. Also, I'm sorry for my chained up handwriting. Apparently it's hard to do a W on your face. And now I'm going in with my Saeed Perfecting Elixir Foundation. Guess what guys, I'm not P1, I'm P2. I wish you guys could smell this foundation because it's illuminating. It smells so good. It smells kind of like Miss Dior, you know, the fragrance. I also never knew that you could put foundation or concealer on your lips to get a brighter color. And that's why we have this effect going on right here. Also, I'm blown away by the fact that I can use a little tiny squirt of foundation and it covers half of my face. And honestly, I think I still have more on that brush. It's worth the money, guys. I'm gonna go ahead and use my shape tape to prime my eyes. Don't worry, I'll do this side too. Hey, if you just tuned in and saw my face, yes, I do know I'm doing fairly. And no, these are not face tattoos. I just wrote on my face. So what you're going to do is get a lot of eyeliner. I'm using sugar or X sugar in blackout. <laughs> I was scared to put things under my eye, like put color or eyeliner in my eye because I was so scared of repeating how I looked like in the 8th grade. And then all I did was blend it, barely. I also had a giant gap in my teeth, which I'm not quite sure how to show that with makeup. So after the eyeliner, we have to go in with glitter and I'm, I'm using my Hit The Lights palette because the makeup that I used to do to create this glitter effect is from Claire's and I don't have that anymore because I've evolved. I'm just gonna go in with this. I'm just gonna use my finger. And I'll be straight up honest with you, this is an improvement from my eighth grade slash seventh grade look. Don't worry, don't worry if you're like, why don't you just show us? I will at the end, but I don't want to ruin the surprise. Then for my regular face, my now look, I'm going to be using Tartlet in Bloom palette. Basic. Am I right? Am I right? Guys, it's really hard to make a video that doesn't make you cringe. So I'm gonna go on in with Sweetheart as my transition shade, which is this like nude shade that I have. <laughs> then I'm gonna go in with, with Rebel. Yeah. <laughs> this is actually not the first time I've ever done like a split look. Um, one of the days it was like dress up as a villain for homecoming. Our thing was superheroes. So it was a uh, dress up as a villain. And I was just like, hmm, well, superheroes, comic book villains. All I can think of is the Batman bad guys. So I was like, I'm not gonna do Joker because everyone and their mother's gonna do Joker. I'm not gonna be Harley Quinn because my mom will not let me wear those kind of outfits. So, hmm, who else could I be in? I was like, Two Face. So I split my face in half. I wore a sheet on one side because I was just like, one side is crazy. Crazy, the other side's put together. So I just wore a dance uniform on one side and then did crazy makeup on the other side. It was fun. I just liked it because I love doing crazy makeup. Halloween's my favorite holiday. And Christmas, I guess. 
but mostly on Halloween. I, I could celebrate Halloween every day. Then I'm gonna go in with Leader, and I'm also going to mix it with Activist. So these two combined. I'm gonna mix those guys. I'm gonna cut the crease because I mean it would not be me if I didn't cut the crease. I wouldn't. Who would it be? I don't know. It would be someone else. Then I'm gonna go back into my tartlet and bloom palette and I'm going to do funny girl. Funny girl. This guy right here. This is the top side. Obviously, I'm gonna blend this out, so I'm gonna go right on in and do a firecracker. There we go. I'm just gonna go ahead and clean up the bottom of my eye. You know what's the bigger challenge here? It's not recreating these looks, honestly, not messing up this. Okay, so I feel like you'll be able to tell pretty well. I'll keep the then, but I'm gonna get rid of the now, okay? Okay, just in case you forgot, this is now. This is then. I used to have a schedule of what I would wear every day. First of all, I never repeated within a month. That was a big no-no. Um, I always did Thursdays as my lazy days. Fridays, Fridays was always skirt day. Monday and Wednesday was either a skirt or a dress day. And then Tuesday, dress nice, but it doesn't have to be a skirt or a dress. I always dress nice except for Thursdays. Thursdays was my lazy day. And even then I put in way too much effort. Now I'm gonna go ahead and I am going to fix up my eyebrows. I just outlined my eyebrow using my Brow with Anastasia. Beverly Hills and Soft Brown. I'm gonna go in with Give Me Brow Brow in three. This is the best brow I've ever done in my life, and I'm gonna screw it up. Look at the sign, guys. Look at the now sign. That's such a good eyebrow. I can't even. I can't even. I'm gonna real quickly go in and highlight my under brow with. I'm gonna do Charmer. This top guy right here. Now, I'm sorry for this, but public service announcement. I have found a new eyeliner that is amazing and should be talked about, okay? Saeed Cosmetics Black Mudge Proof Felt Tip Liner, OMG. First of all, this felt tip is like really thin. It kind of reminds me of uh, Stila, the micro tip one that they have, the eyeliner that they have, but this one is a little bit bigger than that, but it has the same kind of structure to it where it doesn't really wobble around too much. It stays in place. Where I put this liner, it stays. When it says not smudge proof, yeah, sure. If you poke your eye right after you're done using it, it's gonna smudge, but it's not gonna bleed, okay? And I am sorry, Benefit, but sometimes that roller liner does bleed on me and I'm like, why? But this guy is just, it needs to be hyped. Okay, it needs to be built up. I encourage you all to go and buy this liner if you are like me who loves liquid felt tip liners. This is amazing and this is a must, a must. Yeah, that one with the brown, but holy crap, is that a wing or what? Another thing I used to do in high school all the time was I would just wing my eyeliner. That was it. No eyeshadow, just wing that liner. Now it's time for mascara. I am, I'm back. Benefit Cosmetics, they're real. This is a lengthening mascara. This was the first but um Benefit mascara I ever purchased. And as usual, I'm a huge fan. I mean, this is what like sold me on Benefit's mascara. Also, I want everyone to know out there, we're like, why is this girl keep advertising for benefits? Why is this girl like using all these side cosmetics? I only use products that I like. None of these people are paying me to say this. This is just my opinion. My opinion is benefits amazing. Side cosmetics is amazing. Tarte's amazing. Jeffree Star is amazing. Balls. I can go on. Okay, but no, I'm not paid to talk about these people. That's 
just the truth, you know? Well guys, it's time for some highlighter. And I know you guys are sick of me using Ofra, but don't you worry, because I'm using Becca Champagne Pop. Here it is, Becca Champagne Pop. Trying to keep it only on one side. Not easy guys, not easy. And I know I don't show it a lot, but I do typically wear blush when I'm feeling fancy. Anastasia Beverly Hills, and this is the Blush Trio Berry Adore. I picked it up because I just thought these colors were fun, even though like, let's be honest, I'm not gonna use them all because they're not all gonna look good on me. I, I like to use the latest one, that peachy tone. And I'm really late with it. I'm really late with it, really. Doesn't look like it. Now to finish up on this side, huh? I'll be so blushing. We got this look going on. Now it's time for lipstick. I, I, so I did this and I caught up here because there's really not much to do over here, okay? But the lipstick, which I did, and I know just the shade. I'm going to be using this little baby guy. This little baby. It's Urban Decay and it's Bing. Yep, that's that's pretty dang accurate. And then you know how like last week I was talking about how I really like to use dark colors on my lips. I'm doing that today and I'm using <laughs> going for it. I'm using disturbed urban decay. Okay, so we got our finished look. This is now. This is then together this is ridiculous but yeah this this is pretty accurate obviously the glitter's a little off it's more of like a very dispersed shimmer but the eyeliner and lip mm, accurate just picture big gap right there big gap like huge monstrous okay well i'm gonna go fix my face and i'll be right back as always thank you so much for watching this video i hope you enjoyed it as much as i did making it go ahead and like it subscribe below and make sure to click on that little bell icon okay and make sure that you stick up to date with my newest and latest videos and join my journey thanks for watching guys bye